Wow, well, well, very good morning to you. My name is Rama Guko. Thank you so much for, for choosing Y254. This is Power Talk. And as always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. Uh, remember, a repeat of this show also airs again each and every Thursday at 10 p.m. So ensure that you uh, catch this particular program again tonight at 10 p.m. As always, it is a pleasure being with you. I hope that you're, uh, you're well this particular Thursday morning, and I hope that you're healthy from wherever you're watching us from. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live also on our website streaming at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. Engage with us. I shall uh, give you, you where we shall be able to uh, engage with you in a bit, but but this is a show that uh, you, we have all been waiting for. We started this conversation last week, the secrets to having a successful marriage. What are they? We started this conversation last week, and due to public demand, as always, we listen to our fans, we listen to our viewers. You, you, you wanted it, now you have it. This is part two of last week's conversation, Secrets to a Successful Marriage. How can you ensure that your marriage is successful? What are some of the reasons why we are seeing so many divorce cases happening nowadays as opposed to back then? What was the secret that our parents, our fathers used to have that made their marriages last longer than ours? Sequizi, people get married and after one week, two weeks, two months, two years, it's done. What is the problem? We started this conversation last week with a fantastic guest, and they're still joining me today on this particular Thursday morning. To my extreme left, left ladies and gentlemen, I am with the Reverend Evans Kocho. He is a, a pastor, a counselor, a mentor, and a conference speaker. Thank you. One more time, I'm happy to be here one more time. It's a pleasure. Last week it was on fire and uh, fire looking forward to more. Looking forward today. <laughs> and uh, next to me, I am with Pastor Helen Giro, uh, pastor at uh, Jesus Victory Center in Kawangware. Can we Helen? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, we are uh, supposed to be joined by Apostle uh, Prince uh, Isaac, uh, from the, uh, uh, who is a lead pastor at uh, the WEMI uh, Church in Ruiru. He shall be joining us. Uh, last week he was not uh, able to join us, but today he said that he's going to ensure that he graces us with his presence. So Pastor Prince shall be joining us in a bit. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, let's kickstart this show. Let's start the show going on and show that you engage with us the hashtag is why in the morning it is power talk show on twitter at ram Baguko and that y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us i am aware and I, i'm aware that you know you're watching from different parts of the country so let us know where you're watching us from and we shall sample your feedback as you continue with this morning's conversation secret to a successful marriage. Now, um, uh, uh, I, I'm told Pastor Prince is, uh, is within the vicinity. Maybe uh, uh, he, he, he shall join us. Uh, all right. Now, Ninona Amengia, Kwenye Studio. I think uh, he, 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 all right, let's continue. He will join us in a bit. Apostle Prince has already uh, jo uh, uh, entered in the, in the building, but he's going to be amazing. You don't want to miss this particular program. So, last week, we we ended in a very interesting way yeah. and i remember we were talking about how wives need to submit to their husbands and how husbands need, need to submit to their wives and there's so many things we did not touch on last week uh, just to 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 recap on uh, what we were talking about um you know um what are the secrets to a successful marriage for those who have just join us in a nutshell uh, let me start with you reverend Kocho. I still want to echo the same thing I said last week. I mean, is it, was it last week? Yes. Yeah, that marriage is God's agenda. Mm -hmm. Marriage is God's idea. Mm -hmm. And because it is God's agenda, God's idea, we cannot run it without him. Mm -hmm. Of all the secrets, of all the things we want to talk about, we mm -hmm. want to say about marriage, mm -hmm. God becomes number one. God mm -hmm. is the mother of all these secrets. Without mm -hmm. him at the center of it all, it falls down. Mm -hmm. So number one secret and the mother of all secrets mm -hmm. is God because this was his idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. In a nutshell. 
secrets to successful marriage? Yeah, I will what you have said mm -hmm. yeah. because uh, we agree that God is the center of our marriages. And we're saying that every marriage has a blueprint in the hands of God mm -hmm. before it begins. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you fail to get back to the blueprint, you you, you fail it yeah. because you run it at your with your own mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. which becomes risk. It becomes yeah. a risk. Yeah. And from wherever you're watching us from at home, uh, let us know about what you think. Is marriage all about God? Is mm -hmm. he the foundation of marriage? Is he the principal uh, founder? Is, is it his idea, as they're saying? Well, let us know where, uh, what you think or where your stand is in regards to this. Now, I want us to touch on other aspects that we were not able to touch on uh, last week. And uh, these particular aspects that we are, we, we are, are going to touch on are uh, items that, uh, you know, are, are at the end of the day going to uh, enlighten us even more or further in regards to this particular uh, uh, conversation in re, uh, in, in, that talk about uh, the secrets to a successful marriage. Uh, 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 Apostle Prince has, uh, has already uh, set foot in studio. Uh, uh, my brother Karibu Sana. Thank you, sir. Uko salama. Niko chonjo. Niko bie. I almost wrapped you up. My goodness, you cannot do that. It's impossible. <laughs> it is impossible. You know, how can you? <laughs> when I'm with my brother here, my sister, how? how? <laughs> that is uh, Apostle uh, Prince Isaac from. Uh, uh, the, the, he is a lead pastor at uh, the uh, RWEMI Church in Ruiru. Mm -hmm. uh, RWEMI stands for? It stands for Royal World Empowerment Ministries International. Do you want me to continue? No. <laughs> <laughs> Royal World Empowerment Ministries International. Yeah. Uh, CAO. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, uh, Mark. I know. Exactly. It depends with the school you've gone to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, let me still um, say that uh, um, there are some things we did not touch on last week, so let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. We left on that particular aspect of outside influence. So mm -hmm. we are picking up from where we left. How can a couple seize their marriage, cushion their marriage, or prevent their marriage against or from outside influence, the in-laws. And sometimes the outside influence can be pastors, mm -hmm. brothers or sisters, the external family. Mm -hmm. What is it that couples need to do to cushion their marriages against all these things? Let me start with you, Pastor Ellen. All right. Number one, Ram, as we said last week, mm. where we say that uh, you need to put your priorities right when you're meeting your spouse, when you're ready to get married, you need to have your priorities right. Mm. And therefore, the uh, number one agenda that made you to come together, no matter the, the, the outside pressures and everything, you need to protect that. Mm. You don't have to be influenced by anything else. But, but, but then how do you protect it? How? How do you because do it? Because these people also feel like they have an opinion over your life. No, that's where we are getting back to where my, my brother said mm. that every marriage ha got, has to have a foundation on the word of God. Mm. The Bible is the standard of every marriage. Mm. And therefore, any agenda that is beyond or even outside the word of God should be null and void in every marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So any practice that you can see outside your marriage and it's not in the word of God, you should just avoid it like a plague because it will crumble your marriage. Outside influence. God ordained uh, marriage to be for two people. The third party is an illegality. Mm. That is why in the Garden of Eden, we are using the Bible because actually I agree with her that Bible is the standard. The Bible is the gauging meter for every marriage. In the Garden of Eden, we see the third party coming in, in the image of the snake. It mm. interfered with the plan of God. It interfered with that marriage. Later brought us to where we are today. Mm -hmm. So God ordained marriage to be for two. So we, number one, we have to have that basic understanding that this marriage is for two people. Number two, 
Mm -hmm. Having understood that this marriage is for me and my wife, or me and my husband, I need to manage, because at the end of the day, we don't need to chase relatives away. Mm -hmm. We don't need to chase our children away. We don't need to chase pastors away. We need them. But we need to know that we relate with them in our marriage up to what extent. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 that therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave. And I said last week that you cannot cleave unless you decide to leave. Mm -hmm. So there are times that uh, I need to narrow down uh, friends. I need to talk to friends and tell them, you know what, we, need to, we, we used to hang out, we used to all do all these things, go out. Mom, I used to stay with you up to Sasita Usiku, but now I have somebody to, take, to be responsible to. I have somebody to be accountable to. Mm -hmm. So I need to know my mom is relating with me in that marriage up to what extent. Now, there is a, there is a particular individual who is watching us today. I'm sure they're suffering from a, this particular, or they're struggling with this particular issue, mm -hmm. where everything you do, the mother-in-law wants to, 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 to monitor. They come home. Wanangaleo usafi, wanasema. Okay. What are these food for? Even on a pikiwa. Even on a pikiwa. Come and the sababu unakonda. Yeah. They look at everything. No wonder my son, your your stomach is not coming. It's not coming. You know what is the problem in this household? And then they begin to question why aren't you having kids? Why I need children? I need this. I need that and that. I need money. Is your husband? Bona bona u ama umama ndo nakula pesa yako ndo sababu tupate pesa nyumbani outside influence let me get from you apostle mm -hmm. i just want to say it is a reality a sad reality that is happening right now but as much as it is happening i want to go back to what we have echoed the bible mm -hmm. but now i don't want to major on the bible I want to measure in the word, in the Bible, because mm -hmm. that word is the creator of this marriage, in the beginning was. Mm -hmm. And so that beginning brings the difference, because mm -hmm. every other institution uses the, the Bible, but they lack the precept of the word, and that word is what brings us to one. Now. Me and my wife is equals to one, no? And so if I am divided from my wife, then I am weak to any kind of influence. That's right. But if I am one, because it is two shall become one. one. Mm -hmm. Marriage concept is about wholeness, you know, you being whole as a person. So who are you listening to? If you are my wife, then it means I only have the ears. My wife has no ear. I'm the head. And it's only the head that has the ear. Mm -hmm. So if my wife is having an ear, then I must question myself, mm -hmm. am I having another second head with a second ear? But, 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 but that's the, where the problem comes in. Yes. Whereby someone talks to your wife exactly. and tells your wife that where Naomi and Akako, how can a man do this to you? It, it what kind of a marriage are you in with this kind of a man? It happened in the Garden of Eden. Did God really say? Mm -hmm. That was the statement of the mm -hmm. devil. Mm -hmm. Did God really say? And that question brought Eve to a place of looking at the head and thinking, Otherwise. By the way, did God really say? Mm. And the body now brought to the head what it should consume. So for us to avoid what comes from outside, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and our sisters, our pastors, believe you me, given time, they will ruin. I always say this. Mm. The wickedness pastors have to destroy marriages is greater than what the devil has because they are pastors who are not for marriage in fact they look at a sister like this and they say who you an afar ram mm. afai mm. 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 but in the real sense god has ordained her for you but because me i'm the pastor overseeing you mm. i will divert the plan mm. and give you this man because i know 
when I have you with this man, your tithe is sure. Mm. Let, me, let, let me talk about women and friends. <laughs> <laughs> let me start there. I, 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 I will talk to the men later. Let me talk to you about women. Yeah. A woman is being influenced by a friend. Mm -hmm. How a, and, 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 and this is where gossip comes in. Mm -hmm. And then the, that gossip is brought, brought into the family. Now this husband and wife are fighting at night till 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Mm. over something that she was told, mm -hmm. something she had, mm -hmm. or something that someone taught her mm. that it should not be this way, mm. it should be that way. I love my name, Hannah Sauti. As a woman, <laughs> what is the problem here? Number one, what I do huh? myself, I seen last week that uh, I'm in... I'm 14 years in my marriage. Mm. And uh, not that we don't quarrel, not that I don't hear, but what I decided is what my husband hasn't told me, I will not allow it to get into my ears. Powerful word. What your husband has not told has you? Has not told me. And if you come across me and tell me, Helen, there is this and that about your husband, then I will assume and behave like I know. Mm -hmm. That one, I know. But behind my back, I know mm. I should consult my husband. I'm not right. the same. That's so right. that I get the right information. Because the second party will distort everything. That's right. So I always prefer protect my heart. I always protect my marriage by not accommodating such. And as he is saying, mm. if two will become one, mm. how then do you talk about the, the hand? Yes. Where he is in the body. In the body. How? <laughs> How? And, and that is where, ma man of God, I want to interject to Kidogo. The way she has said that she must approve it from the husband. You know? That means the body is, is working in oneness. Uh -huh. That oneness is what synchronizes the energy, the synergy of marriage. It brings love at the place where it's supposed to be. I, I, I want us to, to now handle the men. Uh oh what is, it, what is it about men? <laughs> the man has gone to the bar. I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to And as a man, your wife, your wife, your wife cannot do that to you. Mm -hmm. Now you are being, I don't know if it's a peer, if I say peer pressure. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, your yeah. ego is being Charged. pushed. Punched. In a, in a, in a, punched. And, and then when you go to the house, uh -huh. yes. Huh? Yes. and then the wife is wondering, what did I do? Mm -hmm. What is the problem? Ulisikia <laughs> wapi. Now, the, the man is, is, is now almost even beating the wife yeah. because he was told outside there, it could even be, 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 be by the, the mother, the, the own mother, my son, when I was with your father, this is how I do it. Don't allow your wife to do, to do, to, to do this. So now there's a, a fight in the house. Mm -hmm. Reverend. Suddenly it happens. It does. It's happening and it has ruined so, several marriages. One thing I would want to echo what my two colleagues have said. The moment there is a definition that puts wife and husband apart, mm. And then rules. that is a room enough for the devil to ruin that marriage. Mm. And number two, we also need to understand that from the very first day, the devil never wanted anything called marriage. Mm. Never his, ne never mm. his desire. It was never mm. his idea. Mm. He has a fought marriage from the very beginning. Up to this time, the devil is still fighting marriage. Mm. So the devil can uh, use anyone and anything to fight your marriage. So some of these things come from our parents uh, mm. uh, that, uh, you know, your wife is not doing this. Some of this come from our friends. Oh, I saw your husband doing this. Some of this come from our colleagues. Uh, a woman cannot do this to me. But let me say this. Mm. The moment we begin to listen to external people, or uh, people from outside that marriage, mm. then we are uh, defiling the concept of God, which the Bible says that it is not good for a man to be alone. To be alone. Mm. And I said last, last week that that statement means it is good for boys to be alone. Because mm. it is only boys that will understand or hear things. 
I love that part. It is only boys that will incite against their wife. Exactly. Because if you're inciting me against my wife, you're mm. inciting me against myself. Yes. Yourself. That's the concept. Exactly. Yourself. You, 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 yourself. Yeah. You are yeah. yourself. So if you allow someone to speak against your wife, yeah. mm. There's, you are allowing them to speak against yes. you. You are a man, two man shall to be, listen. Yeah, yeah, two shall become one. Mm. And therefore they are no longer two, they are one. They are one. So anytime you are describing my wife negatively, Mm -hmm. In other words, you are gossiping me right in the presence of yes, my wife. Yes, you should not take that. What should couples do when somebody comes and uh, uh, speaks badly about their spouse, about their partner? How should they, what should they do? Number one, I don't need to give that any the minute. chance. Mm. I don't want to give that any minute. That Even talking. if it's a very sad oh, or juicy or yes. I don't want to. Because the moment I'm able to listen to you, Meaning, at up to some degree, I'm beginning to think that what you are saying it's is true. true. And I'm also true. confirming to you that you have my attention. I, 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 you, I, you, uh, you have my attention. And therefore, I will not give it a chance, number one. And if it's anything to go by or to listen to, I'll go back home and talk to my wife about it. All right. So and so was telling me about this. Uh, so and so was saying about this. Do you know about this? So you, you should ask. Yeah, yeah. You need to. We need, I know, I'm not asking in there. Like, I need to ask you now. Why? Why mm. are you doing this? No. Mm. We are having a conversation about it. You know, in marriage, there are there are. There are we have we have to be very careful with the words. Mm. We, we, I'm not asking, mm. but we are having a fellowship of it. How do you approach <laughs> your husband <laughs> and your wife? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How do you how do you approach him? How do you ask? That's why we said last week. Uh, we said you need to package yourself, right? Yes. Because uh, you might be right and not correct, mm. and you might be correct but not, not right. right. Mm. And therefore, you might you must package yourself right. Mm. The fact that when I approach my husband about about an issue, maybe I overheard or even have. I've come across, I need to go back in prayer, package myself well, such that when I come to my husband and appear to him, and maybe uh, table my, 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 my everything, my complaint, mm. he will take it positive. But now, that's now when I tell him, and now maybe passed to me, and in a mm. then I am wrong, not my husband. Mm. I am the one mm. in mm. Come in a mumiza. Come in Let's begin from there. Ameni koseya. Nikweli. Then as a wise wife, I need to package myself in a way mm -hmm. but, but that he will take it as a something good, something positive. In this case, you've been told something about yes. your husband. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Nikweli. That point is very dangerous. And uh, I want to say what my brother said is, if you allow somebody to talk about your wife or your husband, if you're a wife, it means you had already put this person at a place called a spot. Mm -hmm. So this person was already a suspect. From the beginning. From the beginning. So you are just looking for evidences to prove. To prove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means that the, in the first place it is not a marriage because marriage is you believe in yourself man of God in fact get, get behind me Satan because I don't want to listen to you I know I am so if you allow somebody to do that it means number one you had already put him on the spot mm -hmm. So you are just waiting for something to happen. Mm. Then you come to him mm. na food. Mm. I knew. Mm -hmm. I knew from the word mm. go. <laughs> <laughs> you are this way, you are that way, you are that way, you are that way. And, that's that's why everything is over. and everything is over. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to know. Why? Because from the word go, like the way they say it, when the foundation is wrong, mm. it doesn't matter how the fancy, how the building is fancy and beautiful. It doesn't matter. Until you become one whole, 
Whose report are you listening to? Whose report are you listening to? Whose report? Which ear are you using to listen to people? Which one? <laughs> there, there is, so, so there my, is my, something my, going around on social media yeah. that don't tell me what other people told you about me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But explain to me why you are so comfortable to listen to those lies. What other mm -hmm. people are saying exactly. about me. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, I, I want to start to touch on this particular angle here. Mm -hmm. Children. Still a big issue here. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about secrets to a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. When you've been married for a particular period of time and you, you, you still don't have children, and now your mother-in-law, father-in-law, your in-laws, your relatives are now mm -hmm. asking you, mm -hmm. Where are our children? Na yapo nasema watoto ni wetu. Watoto wakopi watoto wetu. And you, you you begin to get so concerned till some of them even begin suggesting other possible solutions. Exactly. Kwa nini ya huku wao ule mama mwenye ako na watoto watatu ama wanne? Ama some do what Sarah did in the Bible. Kwa nini usichukue uyu? Then I need to advise my my male candidates mm. who are about to get married mm. on mm. this mm. no who are about to get married. what about mm. two yes uh -huh. if they come across uh, this challenge in future of uh, the children and what have you yes. then you need to take the wife to be take take her to a training maybe you give her to another man and the training about our total you can marry a person pa who is able to get. Pa you know what? Pa are you saying a person who is before? Give her time. Give her time. Give her time. I'm driving a point home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you know, you've married me. Yeah. I don't have children. Mm -hmm. I was not in a training. You have not done rehearsal. Yeah, rehearsal, mm -hmm. so that you can be able to be. You know, you can see a uh, Helen is able to get children. Yes. Then, if that one is allowed, mm -hmm. then the question should arise. I mm -hmm. get you now. You get. Mm -hmm. I almost misunderstood. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, ah, my goodness. Yeah, okay. No, if yeah. now it is becoming uh, hard on you, uh. then the question of when will you give me a kid mm -hmm. should be as hard as that. Mm -hmm. Because this girl was not married. Mm -hmm. This girl has never had children. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the love was based on me and my husband, mm -hmm. not about the children. I was I was listening to Classic FM. Is it Classic or something? Mm. And um, it was an issue of the same. Uh, this guy was approached by the mother and the father-in-laws and the brothers-in-laws and like, Manze, una shoot gun yenye aina bullet ama. And the guy was like, I, I think I'm, 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 I'm okay. Because Kabla, I got married, mm. I had two, three, four children out there. So I don't know why he has seen her. So when the lady was brought in mm -hmm. for, for talk, mm -hmm. the lady opened up and said, every time my husband pregnants me, I abort it. What? And she was asked why. And she said, she just doesn't want to have children. So at times we can be blaming or pushing these people to the corner. Yet there is one that is not one. There is one party that is not one. one. So you, you, you're saying sometimes it is not, you may be putting yourself under pressure, Yes. but it is your partner who is not giving you children. Exactly. And you see that's where the problem is. Because now a man will tell, will tell the woman, Kwanini But they By the way, by the way huh? man of God, can I tell you something? Huh? When, uh, when God said a man shall live, to cleave when he said that Kwanzaa there was only one thing these people to be one that's it so the issue of children will come later on is only by die those are fruits of the marriage mm -hmm. but the first thing mm -hmm. is these people to be one when they are one they can give back they will be fruitful it is automatic mm -hmm. saved or not saved children are blessings from God. Mm. <clears throat> so there are times that we meet such situation or condition that the man of God is talking about. But there's a time that we have this condition, mm. either in a man or a woman or both. And uh, whenever a couple finds themselves in such kind of state, 
they need to believe God and trust God for children. I've seen that God doing that severally. Mm. Two, uh, I believe in what the apostle said. The concept of marriage, the idea of marriage came number one for two people. God wanted to bring us together as one in an institution called marriage. Having children is just but part of so many other reasons or any other benefits of that union. What, what do you do when your mother-in-law now gets in, father-in-law gets in, and they ask you, the question, how, 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 what do you tell them? The question of what I do only comes the moment I begin to mourn to my mother or to my parents that you know I'm bothered about children. Mm -hmm. But if I know that I and my wife we are one and we are trusting God that one day we'll have a child, mm -hmm. then that question will not even arise from them. Actually, but, but now we, are, we, we yes. have some more one, they're not bothered. Let me it tell is you. actually the peer, the, the, the pressure from the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when it comes, parents are very clever. Mm. The moment they realize that you are able to accommodate such kind of questions, they'll really flock your house with such kind of questions. <laughs> but some of them know if you want to stop they everything, bring uh, you the wife mm. they need. try to ask Evans about that. <laughs> And right. you see, your stand should be very strong from the word go. To protect right. that family. Um, I, I'm told you need, we need to take a short commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> but after this break, we'll be back. And I want you to tell me, what do you do when you realize that there is this secret your partner has been having? You've been married for a given number of years. Mm -hmm. Nando may realize size. Mm -hmm. Can that break up marriages? <laughs> because now you realize, and, 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 and someone tells you, all these years you've been hiding things from me. Oh, yeah. mm. What do you do? What else are you hiding? What else are you hiding from me? Yes. I cannot trust you. Mm. Nina Kwacha. I'm you realize that kumbe akona mtoto. Ah. <laughs> and today, Ram, we need to tie the concept of intimacy because that is also another area. We will come there. Yeah. <laughs> come there. Yeah. <laughs> there are also the money issues in the marriage. <laughs> we will come there. Let's take a look at that. That will be back in a bit. This is part yeah. of Keep Engaging With Us. Yeah. The hashtag yeah. is part of at Ram Maguko at mm -hmm. Y254 Channel. Secrets to a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. What are they? This is part of Y254, imagine. Welcome back. This is Power Talk. As always, it is a pleasure being with you. It's all about understanding the secrets to a successful marriage. You, if, you're, if at all you're having any struggles in your marriage, we have people here who are experts. They, if you can hear what they're saying, they can be able to help you out. So engage with us. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter, at Ram Maguko, at Y254 Channel is where you can be able to find us. Uh, you know, uh, Tell us where you're watching us from, and we shall sample your feedback a bit later on as you continue with today's uh, conversation on success. Uh, a successful marriage. So before we take, we, we took that break. Um, of course, we are talking about um, uh, children, <coughs> and uh, I want us to finalize on that on, on that bit by uh, you telling uh, uh, me how. And I, I believe it was your apostle was talking. Um, how can uh, uh, what responses should uh, couples arm themselves with when they are faced? with this battle or, uh, and these questions of when are you g going to get us children? The man should play his role. The man's role is to protect the wife. And protecting the wife is just not on the things dealing physical. Mm -hmm. It's also verbal and emotional. And so the lady should feel secure whether they are fertile or not they feel they should feel secure with the man that this man loves me for better for worse for better for us that word for better for us must be included because no. mm. when it is not there any other thing can come in the place so the man must play his role number one he must stand so strong 
that any outside voice will know in that place there is only one voice that speaks, and that's the voice of the, the man of the house. Uh -huh. Let me give a, a rather final word in, in regards to that before I move to the, to the final thing. Because sometimes it, we blame women mm -hmm. when we are faced with such kind of things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the men are, are also to blame, mm -hmm. even, but we don't touch deep on that. But have a final word. The Bible says that uh, men should love their wife as Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. I understand that Christ loved the church until he died for the church. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it should not be known outside your marriage, it should not be known but you, that your wife is infertile, that my husband is infertile. Therefore, the man has to protect the wife if she is infertile and believe God that he is able to give children. Mm -hmm. Then the word protection, uh, I think in marriage there is um, a condition mm -hmm. which should be broken. Mm -hmm. Love should not be under any condition. Mm. Even in those deepest things that you are dealing with, Kamaza Kukosa Watoto, mm. a man should remain strong and do as per the word of God. All right. Yes. Um, you have a word? Let me, uh, uh, okay. Briefly. Love mm. is the cure of all of those things. Mm. When I'm going to do what God asked me to do to my wife, love your wife as you love yourself. Okay. That will be the key. I want us to touch on uh, this angle. A man has, uh, of course, different families come from, diff have different uh, uh, marriage uh, techniques, backgrounds, affiliations, belief systems, and all orientation. Yet, um, at the end of the day, we have uh, um, things called secrets that affect families. What should a couple do when they all of a sudden come across information about their spouse that they never knew all along? And this information can be about anything. But at the end of the day, it has affected you and it has hurt you as a person. And that can even lead to divorce because you never knew this thing about this person and you no longer feel like you trust them. What do you do? Helen? I believe in courtship. In courtship is whereby you deal with the foundations because I come from a different foundation, he comes from a different foundation. And therefore the beliefs in the other family should also be opened up before we get married. But and that's why that people I'm, are afraid of, uh, of saying because during courtship, there are, there are people who are afraid of exposing themselves too much that you may, you know, do, you, you, you may even chase them away or, you, or some sort. No, remember, Ram, this is a person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Mm -hmm. It's not just like a visitor. You're not visiting the marriage. You're not just getting in and getting out. No, this is a person of your lifetime. So during courtship, tell Open him up. everything about yourself. Open up. Let, let him know. Yes. That when yeah. my father is hungry, and yeah. anichapanga. So when you tuki tuki oana winuem kono ni tajua aha your yeah. father used to do this. Mm. But tuki ongea, I'll let you know that this should not be done. You know, open up. <laughs> open I, up. I have question marks on that. Mm -hmm. But let me hear what uh, <laughs> you, what you're saying in regards to that. Le, le, I want to give my personal story. Yes. On that. Mm -hmm. Because we know when you are dealing with marriage, we are not just picking ideas everywhere. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with things that we have dealt with, mm -hmm. things that we have gone through. Mm -hmm. Because somebody else is going through the same. When I was a single man, I kept a lot of secrets to myself. And those secrets made me strong when I am facing the opposite sex. Mm. Why? Because they don't know nothing about me. Mm. So whenever we are dealing, we just say, oh, yes, I, how good, good yeah, hey, oh, oh, yes, oh, good, yeah. Superficially, we are there. We are just knowing each other superficially. But not mm -hmm. too much information. But not too much information, mm. because the more you open up, the more you become weaker. A man, when a man opens up to a woman, they become weak. And so, if the woman is not the right one for you, 
my dear, you have sold yourself. You will be like Samson. And exactly, that's exactly my problem. You've, you, you, during courtship, you told this person <laughs> all your secrets yes. because you are trying to build something so that you yes. can have a successful marriage mm -hmm. without any secrets. Mm -hmm. But now, Mumeachana, and now this person knows everything about you uh -huh. and they can say or do anything. That is where you. I come in and I say, mm. before you open up to everything, before you open up and dig out everything that you have as a secret like for example i mm. was a chokora you know i'm raised in a before i was a chokora my father and mother were lovers you know i was raised in a family that my father used to play kalongo longo with my mother mm. brikicho in the house and we are watching and they are carrying each other so i was raised from that kind of a oh, family. The, the, the open love the, it was open love and i'm with her, and i'm with her, almost three kilometers away. Those were love terms. Love okay. You know, and, and the love in, in between them was so strong. Why? Mm. Because she opened up to the right man and the man opened up to the right woman. Now, the question is, mm -hmm. if you are to open up as a man to this woman, make sure that this woman is the right woman, not a Delilah, looking for information from you. Now, this is a case where a couple is having an, a fight because one has just gotten new information mm -hmm. about this other person that they never knew. That's why yes. we are saying, Ram, before you say I do, please put everything <laughs> in black and white. <laughs> that's why, that's why, uh -huh. uh, okay, in my case scenario, uh, <laughs> okay, I, uh, I know where my, my, my husband is coming from because mm -hmm. we had such a discussion before. We get married, I knew I was getting married to a son of a single mom. And therefore I knew I will be sharing my husband with my mom. Yes, because now the husband is the protector to the mother. And I cannot deny that. So, 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 you so see, if, so these when, are the things uh, you need to open up. If maybe my husband knew how many boyfriends I had before, I told him I had this and that. He knew, I knew. He told me, Helen, I had this and this. So before we get into that, there is nothing I'll be looking for as you know, a new information. You know, for example, let me give an example yeah. here. A lady has had multiple sexual partners before marriage until at some point she had to abort. And uh, this process had affected her womb. An example. And now because that womb is affected, now she's, she's gotten married to a particular man. Mm -hmm. And many years down the line, this mm -hmm. man is running, but she knows mm -hmm. that there is something that happened to me when I was younger mm -hmm. that can make me not to have a child now. And she has kept it a secret. Mm -hmm. Now the man is just finding out secrets that can break marriages. Can I ask you a question now, yes. before, before it gets mm -hmm. clear? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. What if Ram, uh, you've married? And you realize that uh, the wife has seen a scar somewhere yes. that you have never told her about. And now the scar is scaring in something like that. Mm. But now, does it mean the wife should leave you? No. Remember, when you married, you became one. We've seen God who has restored uterus. We've, we've seen this God. And therefore, if such a secret happens and you see it, mm. there is a God who is able to make it. I want to say something before... You don't need before, to before I come to you, let, let, let me come to you. <laughs> there is something burning up here. There is something burning okay, up here. Okay. You see, when such a scenario happens, mm. the Bible says, true love covers a multitude, a multitude of sins. Of sins. True, multitude. True, true, multitude. True. true. But awaken love before its time will end up into disaster. These are secrets to a successful now, marriage. Now, <laughs> if you find out that one and you truly love this person, mm -hmm. there is approach. The approach is like that one of prophet, the prophet who went to David. And he knew David has done this and that. And he went with the story. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things you can approach your wife in a story. You know? And you bring her not even 
directly to her. You are chatting her and you're talking to her and you're like, babe, there is some, honey, the, darling, there is somebody who has done this and, and this and this. Imagine, I want to go and give them counsel, but I want to get your idea. What do you think? What can I go and tell them? Okay. And then you engage. And then you say, now, mm. if it were you, mm -hmm. what would you have done? Mm -hmm. And then you bring her into it. She will be rightly open. Why? Because Very true. true love, true love, man of God, yes. seeks not of her own. It seeks not of itself. Mm. And it keeps no record of, of wrongs. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. So, there are two biblical principles. Number one, mm. the Bible says that both were naked and were not ashamed. Yes. And this is when now a husband and a wife, Adam and Eve, I agree that uh, it is good to be op to open up to your partner, mm. but you need to be very sure this is the right partner. Exactly. Because exactly. if you do a mistake to opening to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, mm -hmm. you'll find yourself in a big mess. Mm -hmm. Correct. If you will be divorced even on a night to your wedding, mm. the lady will run away from you. Because he's told much about you. So I want to advise our young people who are just starting relationships. The Bible says that he who finds a wife, not a woman, not a girl, he who finds a wife, meaning being a wife is a deeper level of commitment that somebody has entered your trust. Somebody has won your love and you are able to trust this person with all your secrets. Mm. Now, in it, this case that it happens, that uh, your wife or your spouse tells you that, you know, this happened before and I didn't tell you now, this is the reality. Marriage is a union of two forgivers. Mm. Any time okay. you find yourself <laughs> in such a mess, mm. remember that institution is not high school or college, or chama cha maendeleo ya wanawake, or maendeleo ya wanaume, or chama cha nyawasi, or nyikano. This is a union ordained by God, and it is a union of two forgivers. Meaning, I accept that this woman I'm married, maybe I don't know 100% about her. Maybe she doesn't know 100% about me. What happens if one day I will know the, the bit of the percentage that was remaining? What will I do? What if these things are not perfect things, are not good things? I will understand that I myself am not perfect, neither is she. Mm -hmm. And if I know something about her that is not okay, mm -hmm. I remember one thing, two things. Number one, marriage is a union of two forgivers. forgivers. Two forgivers, union of two forgivers, not one forgiver, mm -hmm. two forgivers. Now, Number two, mm -hmm. I know that we love, there is something called love. Love covers, as the man of God said, mm -hmm. covers all things, mm -hmm. and love wins. Now, um, <coughs> you realize akona mtoto na haju ajayi kwambia? Love her. Now, let me, let me tell you. Let me tell, let me, let me give you, this child? Let okay. me give you an experience. Yeah. I was a pastor in Kakamega, and uh, a young girl was not able to open up so well mm -hmm. to this young man. And you know, one of the things that brings these problems is when we hurry up things. Arusia fulani litfanyika jana, ata hii yangu pia ifanyake tu arakaraka, waone ata mimi, I'm also connected, I'm going to do this. At least arusia yangu imefanyika kama bado hile test ya arusia bado hiko. But I want to say that is where people make mistakes. Don't rush things. And that is, and if you rush, your marriage won't be sustainable. When you rush things, you are not giving this woman to tell you much about her. I'm not giving this woman tell, time to tell her about mm. me. So which time is the best time, averagely? At least how long before you get into marriage? The things I've experienced about helping people in marriage and other friends that I've seen, mm. I made a vow that I will never be involved in a marriage mm. that these two people have not known one and each other for one year, for more than one year. I will never exactly. be part. Exactly, more than one year. I cannot more officiate than. such a marriage. That you've not, you just knew uh, Five each months other ago, three in months December. Ago. Then 
In, the, yeah. in February, you're taking dowry. Mm. Then in April, you're doing a wedding. I'm not part of it. I will not officiate it. I will never be in the committee. I will never advise. I will never do counseling. Because <laughs> those people are two strangers. One year. Take, yeah. More than one year. One year. More than. Than. No, no, no. No. Why? Come at least. There is nothing. The benchmark is at Ram. least. Ram. So this is a secret to the Ram. Ram. date Ram. for one year before you marry. Please. Ram, please. there Ram. is nothing expiring in this woman. Nothing. There is nothing expiring in me. <laughs> and please we don't, can wait. Don't even use the word date. The word date means kuonja. Hmm. The word date. It is a secular it's word. Yeah. It is. It, 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 kuonja, onja. Kuonja, onja. Uh, so uh, don't use it. Let, let, right. let, let me put this. I, I want to move to something Let me else. add this. Let me yes. add this. Yes. So this young girl was not able to open up to this man. This, the man hurried things and the girl wanted things to be fixed quickly. Mm -hmm. On the day of dowry payment, the, the boy met his four children. <laughs> daddy, mimi uh, ndio mkubwa. Daddy, mimi ndio namfuata. Daddy, mimi ndio watatu. Daddy, mimi ndio last born. You are a father before you know it. You yes. are a father before you know it. These Shoko people ni. left that home. And that's why we are saying people should open up. I we insist need to open people up. People should if open you know up this one is the right they person marrying you. There are some, okay, yeah. someone will forgive. But there are some things that when you just hear them, you take time to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's not take things casually. Mm -hmm. Open up. Because when God right. will confirm to you the person you are getting Toa married to. Toa vitu meza. Toa kitu. Toa vitu chini ya kitu. Akiamua niwewe niwewe. Yeah. You see? They before you get married, this is not what you want At least. At least one year. At, at least, least at one least one year. At 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 least one year. No, 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 no. Even, even, even more. more. Even and more. don't get married to a person. I'm by Ujawa Jua Anakasri Kanga VP. That you've just been meeting in happy moons. Yes. Sometimes just uh, do it intentionally to see the character of this person. <laughs> the other side of that. Yeah. I sent, I sent, I sent make sure to make sure Kabisa and see how <laughs> hey, Pastor. Uh, I sent Nikweli, I sent please. a couple away yeah. when they were asking me to officiate their marriage. Then I had to ask them questions as I was taking them through fast counseling. Then I realized these people are only knowing each other for three months. Three I months. told them please wait until the end of this year. And if you can't wait, please. There are so many pastors on Good. hire. Go yeah. hire them. Good. Let them officiate your wedding. But me, right. I'm never part of that. I want us to touch yes. on something that is quite sensitive. And I know that uh, it can help somebody somewhere. Yes. Remember, we're talking about secrets to a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sexual orientation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you find out that at some point you, 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 you are not as intimate as you used to be before? Mm hmm that you no longer feel your partner as you used to before. That nowadays, even <laughs> some go outside now the marriage mm. so that they can be able to feel contented. Mm. So that wakirudi, wakirudi kama kosawa. And you know, funnily, some spouses also allow their spouses waende nje. Masuma wewe enda tu, bora urudi nyumbani. Ah, ah. That's a lie. What would you do when, when, when intimacy is a problem how? in marriage? How? How is it becoming a problem? Tell me, give me an example. How? how? Why? How is it becoming a problem? I've been married for 14 years. There is no single day at year to Naesa Sema to make a sikuta to seek win. How? We know like two months, my dear. What are you two doing in two months? Four, five, four, five, four, five. Four, five months. This man is anakula, anakunyua. Where do you expect him? You're an idea of anapeleka. Anapeleka. In fact, in fact, Ram Wachani Kwambi Ram Wachani Kwambi Kitu. Unless kuna moja na nyimana. Wacha ni kwambie kitu. Yeah. A man should not go beyond three days. I always make sure that my husband is empty. Eh? Empty. Such that hata kienda inje. Hakuna Una, kitu anaweza kwa. Hakuna kuleta. He will go disappoint himself. Hakuna kuleta. Empty. Wapi fire extinguisher. Empty. Hakuna kuleta. And it is, not about, and it is not about feeling. Mm. It is not about feeling. And if... I have to make it intimate. Mm. I have to I have to make my marriage intimate. I want to ask you this. You've, I don't know if you've heard of I've, this particular I've, terminology mm. where people talk about an open marriage. Mm -hmm. 
it's open, mm -hmm. not closed, mm -hmm. open, where you are allowed to go outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's open. Mm -hmm. I am, just as you are allowed to go outside, I'm also allowed to go outside our marriage. Mm -hmm. As long as we know that we, sisi wa wili, ndo tumewanda si pamo, pamoja. Wewe enda rara na mtu, mwenye wataka ni sawa. Mimpi ya nezafanya hivyo. Lakini sisi tuko pamo, pamoja. Boro usimilite ugonjwa kwa nyumba. That's not marriage. That's not marriage. That's not marriage. Totally, that's it's not marriage. Not. And it is not in the it's concept not. of the Bible. It's, it's, not a, it's not in the culture. Yeah, it's not a marriage. Of, Don't call it a marriage. It's, it's not marriage. Uh -uh. It's something. They else. call it open marriage. But no, mm. it's not open. Are, it's not closed. It's uh, not. It's not. You know, it's those nowhere. are cultures that have come from outside. Yeah. Hmm. That uh, what we were dealing with. How do you deal with what comes from outside? Hmm. So those are things that are coming outside to just satisfy three things. One, uh, infatuation. Yeah, because there are people who have infatuated each other yeah. and they think they love each other kumbe it was just infatuation and you know infatuation dies with time so you'll find at first sight it is hot and then it goes like that last is like a hit and run mm. today i get you i hit and i run I, in fact i'll block you you know and because the third one just because i just needed to show kocho mm. Man, at a mina is a wide rainbow. Mm. Mm. And my sister also will go outside there and tell me, you know, you're not the only handsome man. I can also get handsome men out there. That's you not know? marriage. That is not marriage. Now, no. how you deal with it, how, what I can give, mm. is when you realize this is happening and it is entering your marriage, yeah, as born again brothers and sisters, born again or not, bring each other to a talk. Talk. Talk it out. That that they, that there's a problem Honey, in regards to bedroom issues. Yes. You talk about it. Talk about it. Be open. To Lianza na from six to six p.m. So easy. Like, first second. Ni six or one. At six or two. Zero second to six seconds. We are done to go inje. What is happening? Ah, let me get. Let, 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 let me get your <laughs> your, your your point. Uh, uh, Pastor Reverend Kocho. <laughs> What is called intimacy, in quote, or sex, eh, mm. was ordained by God in a setup of marriage. Mm -hmm. It is allowed in marriage. It is a gift God has given to people who are married. Mm. Mm. Now, <clears throat> one thing we need to understand, marriage is not a sight touring thing. Mm. Or marriage is uh, is not a, mm. uh, is not come with stay. Mm. Marriage is a lifelong term union, and therefore to spice it up to make it real to mm. make it good, mm. intimacy is part of it, and has to be part of it. And therefore, I want to say this: there is no marriage. If there is no intimacy, there is no. It doesn't exist. There is nothing like you know these things that are coming um, from the West and mm. the people are bring cultural ideas and all these things are there. But when you talk about Bible standard marriage, and when you talk about God being the foundation of marriage, Jesus, you know, it has to be between two people. And now the concept of uh, intimacy mm. must be there and must be done regularly and must be protected and must be enjoyed must be enjoyed in fact <laughs> so many people think ma bedroom is a place where you bring issues and uh, that is not a place to solve issues ya chama na issues ya church na mama fulani mbana kwa mwenea machombaya hapo nupa mwumepatana amena kazi wumena kazi hapo nupa mwumekatana if we have issues we can solve them elsewhere somewhere outside the house or outside somewhere but bedroom is Pale ni production site. Mm. Pale ni an altar. <laughs> Restore the altar. <laughs> yeah. well, let, me, let me finish. Let, let, let me finish this. Huh? Yes. That is an altar. Have you ever seen pastors bringing beds on top of the altar sleeping there? No. no. Have you ever seen them playing games there? Mm -hmm. When they stand there, they don't mm. play, my brother. They mm. do what they were called to do. They are preaching Christ. The mm. same way bedroom is not a place to joke. 
Mm. That is a place where God ordained that families, I mean, lives, some of the lives will be produced for that place. So that is not a place All for right. chama. I am, I am told I time is on our side. Just two seconds. Eh? <laughs> we need to touch on something even else. If, even if it's an altar, again, the Bible says, kama umekoseya mtu, usipeleke sandaka yako kwa madhabahu. Ivyo basi kama kitanda ni madhabahu. Hii kitu ya wanawake ya tizijui, it's a responsibility, it's a duty. Yata kama umekosewa lazima. It is your rights. It is your rights. If at all we cannot sort our issues outside the bedroom, mm -hmm. let's not go to this thing at me. At me. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a duty. No, it should be enjoyed. <laughs> that is what that lives <laughs> is in the long run. Mm -hmm. Not be. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Yes. But, I, but it will be enjoyed. Kama tuta, tuta, tuta rekebisha kile ambacho kila weza. And, right. and I want to say this, this one word. Yeah. Is that briefly, word? briefly. Briefly. Yes. When you are married and you are having your intimacy, it is not you're doing it for the favor of the other. You are not doing it for the favor of anybody. There are women whom, even if you do for 10 hours, they will not appreciate. Mm -hmm. There are even if you, if, you, if you give your husband for two days, he will not appreciate. Wakuenda inje ni wakuenda inje. All right. I, 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 I want us to, to wrap up with this comment. Just briefly, please. Briefly. What um, do you do when it comes to money issues in a marriage? Um, how do you do uh, financial planning? Should couples share everything about their finances, bank details, every uh, financial plan that they have, uh, they have, every investment with their partner, even if, include, if, even if it includes registration of, uh, you know, your names. You know, when it comes to money, how can couples, uh, you know, protect themselves and protect, and protect their marriage in regards to even their money? Briefly, problem. each one of you. Yes. There is a problem, Lam. In yes. the society, uh, everyone is in fear. Mm. If I open up to my husband, and uh, he happens to know A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, mm. what I have, mm. uh, at some point, he might come against me to own what I have opened up. I don't yes. know what, the, we need revival. In fact, we need revival in our, in our marriages because the thread is bad. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, briefly, uh, Prince. That's why this thing, you should not take it in a hurry. Huh. But if it comes to that point, please, from the word go, are you still one? The concept remains. Are you still one in okay. the finances, mm -hmm. okay. investments, mm -hmm. be one. in everything? Be Are one. You still one. All right. Yeah. Don't don't keep uh, secrets. You yeah, your pesa. Uh, we cannot you? only be one in marriage or in bedroom. Then, when it comes to money, we are two. Mm. My money is my money. Your money my is our money. My money is our money. Yeah. Your money is our money. All right. So we are one. <coughs> All right. I want, I, want, I want us to finish. Uh, I'm seeing, okay, let me not uh, end the show without saying this comment. Someone is saying, it does not matter whether it is one year, two years or not. It depends on how you love one another. I took four months up to now, we are together with my wife in marriage. I, I'll let, you. let me talk. Anointing alone does not sustain a church or a ministry. Mm -hmm. I'll say again, mm -hmm. love does not maintain a marriage. Love alone cannot sustain a marriage. Right. Let, uh, let me just say this. Let's finish that. Let's finish that. Let me finish this with this. Let, let, this let's this is burning. This is burning. What? When Adam looked at oh. Eve, <laughs> he said, Bone of my bone. bone. Flesh. flesh of yeah. my flesh. Thank you so much. That is Apostle Prince. That is Reverend Evans Kuchuk. That is Pastor Helen. You are married this year. We did it more time. Time will never be enough, my brothers. <laughs> um, I, I want to end with a quote. Remember, tell me what you, whether you agree with this quote. Remember that creating a successful marriage is like farming. You have to start over again every morning. Very true. Very true. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. May God bless our marriages. My name is Ram Maguko, and this is Power Talk.